Now I'm out here today in the countryside down here in southern Spain, absolutely beautiful and um, you might hear little dogs barking, they're the owners but over there just behind my car you can see the beautiful blossoms of the almond and orange trees coming up. So we're just going to go in here and look at this property here, traditional Spanish property. So you have got an electric gate here. And just here's the driveway. Now if I just pan around, so you have a door there into a large bedroom which comes out here onto the terrace. So I'm going to take you in here now. The sun, I'm afraid, is on the camera. But this is all netted over so no mozzies or insects can get to you. So it's really quite nice. So I'm just going to pull this across. And you've got all that detail in the flooring there. And you've got your hot tub just over there. I'm going to just show you, we've got two little doggies here. And they're quite happy to come and do this tour with me. So I'm going to take you inside the main house. You have this fabulous Spanish door. Look at that. The workmanship that went into that door. So you have got a few steps. About three granite steps and some silver rails. So let's go inside. And I'll show you around this beautiful home. The Spanish homes are really quite unusual. And nothing more so than this one. So you have really high ceilings. You've got up there, you have got your aircon, a table, and six chairs there. You've got a spiral staircase that goes down there. But I'm going to show you this end of the property first. So as we walk in, this is a room that he uses as a hobby for painting in that. So you've got your ceiling light and fan and you have wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows there. This could be another bedroom if you want it. So I'm just going to kind of take you down, before I go down that spiral staircase, I'm going to take you down here. So just here inside you've got a little step. And you have air con and you, above you've got a ceiling light and fan. Quite large rooms. And I love this stone on the wall as well. So I'm just going to pan around really slowly so you get a feel for the room. You have got a lovely log burner there as well. Now these ceilings are very high. So you can see. And you've got your aircon just above there as well. Through this archway of course, you have an archway here. And through this archway is your kitchen. Now you have one step down into the kitchen and in the kitchen you have a microwave, integrated gas hob and oven. You've got plenty of base units. You've got your sink and drainer. You've got insect screens, blackout blinds and wreckers on the windows. And just here you've got your extractor hood and more top and base units with Plenty of drawers there for your knives and forks and your cutlery. And you've got a fridge freezer there. You've got two lighting there and your ceiling light and fan. Now just through here you have got a bathroom. Now the bathroom's off the kitchen. You've got a um, sink and pedestal and you have a WC. And just through here you have your shower. So you've got a boiler up there, which gives you plenty of hot water and your shower and a seat there. So it's all done out for someone who's disabled the property. 
and through here you've got a small step and this brings you into a bedroom. This bedroom is a very large bedroom. I'll just pan around for you. And you have your aircon over the door there. And you've got ceiling light and fan and another light there as well. So I'm just going to open the door here just so you get some bearing on where you are in the property. So this leads out onto the terrace and this is where we were originally, the front yard. Okay, so just to give you some bearing guys. You've got plenty of switches and sockets on either side of the bed there. And I'm going to go through and we're going to go through the rest of the property. Spanish properties tend to be um, a little bit topsy-turvy, I would say. They don't follow the regular way of doing things because they're extended over the years or whatever sometimes. So you have a fabulous staircase here. And this is where we're going to go down this spiral staircase. Okay, so see you at the bottom. So I just got to the bottom of the stairs, guys. Here it is. So I'm going to pan around now. And you've lighting on the wall here. And I'm going to bring you in and around. So in here is a shower room. I see a little doggy through the window up there. Got another boiler there, which is for this bathroom. You got your sink and pedestal, your WC and your shower unit. And this is another bedroom, but you really could use it as um, a dressing room. Okay. So this leads into another bedroom here and you have a small window there for your ventilation and you have that beautiful Spanish door. I'm going to pan around for you. Now I'm just going to go at this door here. Oops. You have this gorgeous bougainvillea flowers here as well just walked back up here so I'm gonna so that's the door into that bedroom then you know and just here you have steps up to the main house and if I just show you here the outside space is all netted so you don't need to worry if you're allergic to mozzies you know, you won't get bit. That's all I can say on that. So it's a great idea to have it all netted where you're sitting or you're sitting out and eating in the evening or whatever, you know, and you can still enjoy the countryside, the smells and the sunshine. And look at those gorgeous views over there. I'm besotted with them. So I'll just take you... And again, um, this is the front of the property, as I've said. And the two little doggies. Here to greet me. So I'm just going to give you different angles. So you've got your outside dining room table and chairs here for your outside dining. And you've got a hot tub there, a jacuzzi, which you can enjoy in the summer. And it's still in the shade. And you know what I think is really nice about this garden? If I bring you close, if you're railway enthusiastics or anything like that, you've got a train track all the way around. And that goes on and on around the garden. So anyone who enjoys doing trains as a hobby might just enjoy that. And of course you've got your hot tub there. So as you can see guys, there is a rail track that runs right around the garden and you've got this fabulous bridge as well if I get in closer. And it goes all the way around the garden and of course you've got another table and chairs here. And it's a great thing to do, especially on a Sunday afternoon, 
play with your grandkids with the choo-choo trains and all this is all netted as you can see so i think that is a great idea as well because if there is any flies or anything you don't get bitten by flies and that does tend to be an issue in the country but here it is not guys what do you think of this property it is traditional spanish property you have your electric gates with off road parking if you want you're in the country you got those fabulous views all around you got a hot tub you've got two tables in the area here for dining in the shade and in the sunshine and you've got all that netting overhead so Flies or insects can't get at you. So if you're allergic to insect bites or anything like that, you don't need to worry about that here. It's absolutely a dream. You've got about three and a half bedrooms. The half bedroom could be used as a dressing room. And you've got your bathrooms as well. That fabulous kitchen. And um, this is a nice property out in the country. And you can see all the blossoms on the tree now. It's really beautiful. So... If you want to come and view this property, do contact Dawn info at selectosellbuy.com and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I will put the details of this property in the, the description box below. Okay, so take care. See you again. So guys, I just found out you have a butcher's here, a baker's and you have shops, a spa. You've also got hairdressers and makeup, so you don't have to go too far. You've got everything here. You've also got what they call a ferretia, which is like um, a B and Q, but a very small version of it. And um, you've got everything here, really. So you don't need to go too far. So it's on your doorstep, okay? So just adding that little bit to the video. Take care.